Hello, welcome to Road Rant UK, episode six, six of these. Uh, it is Friday, man. It is the 23rd of December, 2022, the last day for most people at work today. Last day, last day for me, hence got the Christmas combo on. I've got Christmas uh, shirt, Christmas t-shirt, uh, Christmas socks, Santa socks. I've even got Christmas boxing shorts on, but you don't want to see those. Maybe you do. No. Uh, so welcome. Uh, so what can we talk about today? Uh, so a lot of things happening um, across the UK today. Uh, of course, mentioned yesterday. Well, I didn't mention, but it was in the news that the uh, the tickets, rail tickets, are going up. There's going to be another increase in fare prices on the trains. Who drives? Who rides trains now? I don't think I've been on a train uh, for about I don't know. Uh, it's the last time my wife was in London. Uh, performing in the West End. Um, uh, I think last time I went on a train was about 2017, 2018. And uh, that was expensive then to travel down to London from the East Midlands. Now, I would never travel on a train anywhere. I'd go by car. It's too expensive. Can't afford it. You know, for a day trip, it's, it's been got to factor in. It's very expensive. So why would you want to travel on a train? Uh, they run, some some run late. You know, like I say, it's not a fun experience. Last time, last time I went on a train down to London, it broke down at Northampton. A one and a half hour journey took us five hours. Do we get compensation? A little bit. Was it a struggle to get the compensation? Yes. So I would never ever travel on a train again. Nah. Now, so yeah, prices have gone up on train fares. If you are a train traveller, I, I feel sorry for you. I'm so sorry. Um, I hope you can afford the increase in your fare price, along with everything else that's gone up across the UK. You know, fuel, electricity, food. It's not good times at the moment, is it? Really? Really not good times. Also happening today, and if you're going away on holiday, this will be affecting you. The Border Force. Da, da, da. We are Border Force. Uh, they're going on strike. So all the uh, passport control agents that stamp you in, uh, securities that get you through uh, the uh, security checks at the airports, uh, at the ports as well, all going on strike today. Well, some of them might be working, but you know, but yeah, all on strike because it is, uh, you know, they want extra pay, they they want more. You know, this is what's happened in this country. Uh, increase wage increase hasn't got haven't gone up over the years, and now people are struggling. When price of living rises, people are struggling. They can't afford it, so they want extra wages. Fair enough, really fair enough. So nurses, ambulance drivers, train drivers, border force control workers. Uh, who else is going to go on strike? Uh, oh, postal workers. Sorry, forgot to mention the Royal Mail. Postal, postal workers. Uh, they're going on strike, not delivering your mail. I think they've got another two dates booked in. I think, are they having a strike today or tomorrow? Thank goodness for Amazon. <sighs> anyway, I digress. Uh, so, uh, like I said, last day of work. If you are at work today, hope all goes well. Uh, have you having a, are you having a fuddle today? Yeah, we bring in, everyone brings in uh, food that they're poisoned at home to give you food poisoning over Christmas break. That doesn't happen. All right, that doesn't happen. That's just a joke. Just a joke. Uh, we are having a fuddle at work. Uh, in fact, we're, I think we're buying in pizza for lunchtime. Nice. Love it. Uh, right, so, oh, yeah, big announcement I was going to mention. As I've mentioned before, if you're new to this channel, I'm a former radio presenter. Did it for, I've been doing it on and off 30 years I had a great uh, career in the high peak at Derbyshire um, for 10 years doing breakfast radio loved it love radio I think I was born with headphones on my head because I've always wanted to be a radio DJ and that, that happened uh, when I was 16 and like I say for the last 31 years I've been doing you know, radio full time and bits and bobs uh, I have been uh, currently doing the weekend breakfast show uh, to TX1 Radio in Doncaster and Battle Law, uh, which I will be on tomorrow and on Christmas Day as well. But big news is uh, I've been uh, offered the uh, the afternoon show on the station. So uh, as from Boxing Day, I will be the new host of the uh, the afternoon show. So I'm trying to work out a name, maybe later in the afternoon, 
late, late on in the afternoon. See what I did there. Play on, play on words, especially with my name. Um, so yeah, that's that's exciting for me. I can't wait for that. It's going to be going to be great. I'm looking forward to the new uh, radio challenge, which is going to be interesting and juggling lots of things. Um, so that will be good in the new year. Got loads of little ideas I want to put in stuff I I never ever got to do when I did breakfast radio because um, just the place wasn't right or the time of day didn't feel right. So we're uh, we're putting things in pipelines ready for that. We're going to have a little bit of a soft start. Um, um, Boxing Day, but really kick off with the uh, afternoon show on the second of January. I'm excited about that. Feel free. I've got, I've got a strange light on my on my side here. I think it's the light from the yeah, it is the light from the street light. Uh, if you want to listen to the station again, I'm on air tomorrow morning from seven a.m. I'm on Christmas Day as well. Uh, you can follow the station uh, via the website tx1radio.co.uk. There's an app on uh, smartphone and your Apple uh, devices as well. Just search for TX1 Radio. Or you can uh, ask your Alexa to say, play TX1 Radio. I think you've got to enable it first and then you can play it. So uh, feel free to uh, tune in. Love to have your company uh, on the weekend breakfast show and on the new afternoon show starting next week as well. Uh, it's going to be good fun. Looking forward to it. Well, I think that's it for me. All my rambles are over for this year. I'm going to have a week off and we're back on the 2nd of... That will probably on the 3rd of January. We'll do a next uh, bit of a rant. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Thank you for indulging me, to use a phrase from a friend of mine, Adrian Allen. Uh, he's got a channel as well. Check him out. He's very, very good. Really good bloke. And uh, listen, have yourself a great festive time of year. Hope everything goes well for you and your family. I was going to mention about something about um, Christmas Day disasters, uh, but I'll mention save that for the weekend breakfast show. Uh, listen, have yourself a great festive year. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe, like, and comment below, whichever you feel, what you feel about the channel, if you like it, if you don't like it, what you'd like to see me do, any content you want to see me add next year. I, I need to get to a thousand subscribers, then we can do live footage of the hamster overnight. <laughs> if you're a bit of an insomniac and like that sort of thing, then feel free. Yeah, all right, thank you very much for watching. Have a great Christmas and a happy new year. And we'll see you in 2023.